Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Cool that you're here today. You have seen already the video title in the description. Today, I would like to talk about books and software testing books, and maybe there were some other books. So I would like to share some of my book recommendations for you as software tester, or maybe as a developer or as a product manager in case you would like to learn more about software testing. And I picked a couple of books in this video today. I will make sure to link, I think, all of them down in the video description, but they're easy to find, easy to digest. And um, yeah, as always, leave a like, leave a subscription to support me. So let's take a look on the books that I prepared for you today. Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. So, but first, why reading books? Maybe you're not like the, the book reading person, but you should. And here's why. First of all, you learn new skills and techniques. You get new ideas and you can generate new ideas and that will help you in order to succeed in your daily life as a software tester or as a developer. So that's good. So reading helps you to, to rethink, to reflect on the things that you're doing on a daily basis. And of course, it's fun. I mean, I like to read. I like to read. I read a lot. And I'm um, not only reading software testing books. I, in the past, I read a lot of, um, what was it, like product management books. Uh, right now, I'm reading a lot of generative AI books. Let me check where's the book. I think it's laying around here. So I'm reading right now generative AI. So it's a, it's a huge topic right now in the industry. You have seen it on my channel as well. And I also read books about leadership and remote leadership because I think that's helpful for me in my daily life as the head of software testing. And maybe it helps you as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at the software testing books or at the books that I brought for you today. And of course, how can the list of books be complete, right? I mean, that's what I meant here. The list of books is by no means complete. I mean, I, I think I read all of the books um, in the recommendation side here and I can just recommend them to you and maybe you can you will find some of the books that you are also uh, find of interest for you and then go ahead and get them. First of all, I mean, yeah, I think you have noticed already you, that was already like on your on your mind when you're working in testing. It's more agile testing. You see the book covers from Lisa and Janet. I mean, these are de facto standard books that you have to read in case you're working in software testing. So it's a must read for every software tester. Start with agile testing, which was the first book, and then take it on for the more agile testing. And go ahead and read them. They're really good books, really, really good ones. And yeah, as just said, they're great books about mobile testing. Um, first books, next ones. Again, another one from Lisa and Janet. It's called Agile Testing Condensed. And that's basically yeah, a condensed version of Agile and more Agile testing. I think it's a I don't know, 100, 150 pages uh, long book. And it gives you really a condensed view on how you should do Agile testing. and. I really enjoyed reading that book, especially when I was reading first time the Agile Testing and More Agile Testing. It's quite some years ago. And this one I just read last year or the year before, and it was really a nice refresher. And the cool thing is that one, you can get it on LeanPub, I guess, but also on Amazon. Um, it's translated in multiple languages already, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, that was a third point. Um, the next one, yeah, one of the most loved books that I've read on exploratory testing is the book from Elizabeth Hendrickson. And yeah, it's another must read for testers if you'd like to know more about exploratory testing. And that's really something that you should get right after you watch the video if in case you haven't read the book. It's just a really, really good book about how to reduce risk and increase confidence with exploratory testing, as it said also on the, on the book cover. Uh, Elizabeth provides really great examples on how to do exploratory testing in almost every setup. Yeah, So go ahead and try it out. 
Mm. Another book that I really enjoyed was How Google Tests Software by uh, James Whitaker, Jason Arbon, and Jeff Carollo. And um, yeah, it, it gave me a great insight view into Google and into like a big corporation that everyone is almost looking at uh, and would like to work at because they're like so technical focused. They have so many, so much innovation going on in the company. And um, before that, I even was really curious, like, hey, how is Google testing software and stuff? And the book was quite interesting, I have to say. It. They gave me a completely different look into software testing, how big corporations approaching it. And, and basically the book uh, established the software test engineering test role in the industry because afterwards like many companies jumped on that hype uh, train to uh, use the, the this job uh, offer and then hire software engineers and tests to build frameworks and be more technical. It changed a bit the industry to be honest and I'm not sure when the book was released quite some years ago but still it's a, it's a good book for you to read. Um, Testing in DevOps by Katrina Kloki. Yes, also one book that you should read in case you work in DevOps or in DevOps-like environment. Um, it's available on LeanPub. I think by now it's also free available for you to download. So go on leanpub.com, search for Testing in DevOps and you will find a really great book. Um, I just said it's a must read if you work in DevOps and Katrina gave a lot of great examples on how to use testing and doing the testing in a DevOps environment. Really cool stuff. Um, oops, <laughs> hands on mobile app testing. Yes, I'm cheesy marketing in here as well. So the author is me in case you haven't noticed. Um, I mean, just, just for you to know uh, that it, I, I wrote the book a couple of years ago and it's a complete overview of about mobile testing. You to get into mobile testing, what to do with automation and frameworks and stuff like that. And uh, the really cool thing is, and this makes me really proud is that the book I know is really used by well many well-known companies for onboarding and learning purposes about mobile testing. I got so many great feedback from the industry about the book and I'm really happy that I, I put all the effort into the book, writing it for more than one year. In case you would like to know more about mobile testing, see if this is something for you. Um, another book that I really lo loved to read was Starting Your Test Software Testing Career by Nicola Lindgren. I also made an interview with her a couple of years, or was it last year? I think it was last year, um, uh, about her book. And it was this really book, like if you really would like to get into software testing. And for me, it was really refreshing while working already for many years in the industry. But still, uh, Nicola gave really nice insights and idea on how to get into software testing. And I usually... Um, recommended to newbies in my company or to people who think that software testing might be the next logical step for them in their career. Um, would heuristic, uh, hoi, hoi risk it, no, not heuristic. Um, it's the author, for, uh, the author is Lena uh, Pegian Nyström. I hope I pronounced it correct, Lena, sorry for that. Um, and yeah, Lena is sharing really great 30 lessons about learn, uh, like working in software development and about yeah, risks and stuff and traps and tools that she saw over the past of her career. And it's a really good book to read. Yeah, just go ahead and get it out. I uh, get it. Um, another one is How Can I Test This? Also a really cool book from uh, Bala Harris, Lindgren, uh, Shelly Graham and Wong. So too many authors to put them all on the slide. But uh, it's like a really great book on like see how people tackle real life, real world examples and challenges. And that's what the book is all about. So really the authors focused on specific use cases and examples that they face on a daily life as a software tester. Really refreshing to read. Go and check it out as well. I think available on LeanPub. Same for Lena's book. Um, another book is called Testing Web APIs and the author is Mark Winteringham. Also, I've, I've done a video, an interview with Mark a couple of uh, weeks ago on his latest book, AI is a Test, in which comes in a second. But uh, Mark also wrote a really book, a really nice book about uh, testing web APIs. And to be honest, all our systems rely on APIs and we as testers, we have to take a look at this layer as well. So in this book gives you a really great introduction and to learn all about testing web APIs. Yeah, cool, cool stuff. Just as I mentioned before, AI assisted testing. Yes, AI is everywhere these days. So too many topics to, to catch up with. Um, as I said, I interviewed Mark on, on my channel about his book and why he wrote the book. And um, yeah, if you would like to learn more about like what is going on with AI, how to test it, what LLMs are, what generative AI means, what prompt engineering is, go and read his book. I can only recommend it. It's really good. Um, 
a non-testing book called Clean Code. Uh, author is Robert Martin and yeah, it's not a testing book, book but worth reading it. But to be honest, it's not a book that you just open and read it from the very first page to the very end. It's more like, okay, check in between like what do you need for your daily work as a, as a tester because it's really heavy sometimes. So it's about clean code, architectures and code patterns, how to build software the right way. But I can recommend it. It's really good. Um, the Complete Guide to Test Automation is also something that is really cool. Arnold Axelrod wrote the book. And yeah, if you would like to know and learn all about, all about <laughs> software testing techniques, patterns, and how to maintain automation, that's maybe your starting point. Continuous Testing for DevOps Professionals, uh, a book that Aaron uh, Kinsbrunner wrote. And it, it's, I think it should be like the second book after reading Katrina's book and Testing and DevOps. Uh, it, it's basically a practical guide to learn all about continuous tef testing in a DevOps environment. Also, a really, really well-written book and helps a lot with practical insights. Um, 50 Quick Ideas to Improve Your Tests. It's written by Goiko Atzik, uh, David Evans and uh, Tom Roden. Now I found his first name, sorry, Tom. Um, yeah, it's a really great book that really contains 50 quick ideas on how to improve your testing. It's really brilliant. Also really nice illustrations inside the book. Go check it out. Okay, and then of course, there's a third point that I was not sure about. Uh, from generating test ideas to manage large scale test suites, you will find examples and ideas. Really refreshing to read. And I think the last one, last but not least, lessons learned in software testing by, um, yeah, Jam Kainer, James Bach and uh, Brett Pettichord, if I correctly pronounce, uh, pronounce it correctly. And yeah, it's it's published in 2020, uh, 20, 2002, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's still valid. It's a really good book. Uh, a lot of lessons learned that are shared among um, the, with the with the readers from the from the authors, and it's still valid. And yeah, it's a it, it's usually focused on the context driven approach to testing. If you haven't heard about that one, go check out the book. It's worth reading. And that's it. These were my book recommendations. And as I said, there are like a lot of books out there that are worth reading these days. But um, I can only focus on some books because you also need to invest the time to read them. And yeah, you should read testing books or books in general because it helps you to learn new skills, to reflect on your work. That's important. And yeah, read, read books from other disciplines too. What I mentioned before, I read books about generative AI. Now I have a couple of reading stuff there to do. I'm, I'm reading also like non-technical books, like just fiction books and stuff like that. Sometimes it helps you to reflect, generate new ideas and brings you forward in your, in your life. And to be honest, I really enjoy reading a, an, an analog book in my hands, no screen or nothing, just me and my book. That's perfect. And yeah, in case you don't like reading, I mean, I know that there are people out there that are not too much into reading and they would like to more like into consuming stuff like YouTube, for example, like you're watching it right now. Um, but they're also like really great tutorials, blog posts. I mean, it's reading again or podcasts that you can follow up on if you would like to learn more about um, testing, non-technical or testing or development stuff. There's also something that you will find. Do your own research and then find what is the best for you. And that's it for today. Let me know which books have you read in the in the past or which books you can recommend. Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to see your book ideas or your book recommendations and also to learn about new books that I should read next. And with that, thanks for coming by. Like it, share, subscribe it and share it as always. It's a new theme. And thanks for coming by and have a great day.